Alright, so Ricky Australian salmon. I like to start like this. You put your hook straight through the salmon's tail or near the tail. Alright, so it's through like that. Then I pull the whole hook through and a bit of wire trace. And then I, I turn the hook just like this. I just turn it the other way, like so it's upside down like this. Then I put it in a few centimeters away from the gills. Now just push it in and just feed it out the gills like that. And then I push my hook into the hole here a bit and pull my wire trace through. Now, I used to rig it the same way, but I went first I went through the eye and then I did the hook and made the hook come out here. But I found when you put it like through the gills, it holds a lot better. See like that? It doesn't wobble a great deal. But when it was like the hook was exposed out here, it was a fair bit of movement in it. So this just makes the bait a bit more secure. Now once you've done that, get your zip tie and just I can get it, alright. And then just pull it tight. I like to get this little notch thing right in the eye of the hook. So that's where most of the pressure is exerted. And this once again makes the hooks the hook set nice and firm. So once that's nice and tight, I do another one near the head. You don't have to do this one. I just like doing it, so it's a bit more secure. Alright, so yes. Be, be careful when you're working around the pointy end of the hook. It's not a pleasant feeling when the hook's in you. Alright, so we're getting there. A bit fiddly. So once again put the notch right where the shank of the hook is. Alright, just make sure they're both tight and get your wire cutters or pliers with snippers and just cut the tag end off. your rig bait right there. Now it does pay to um, really pay attention with your bait presentation but really take your time in presenting the bait because in the end that's what the sharks are going to eat and when they yeah it does help when they're really nice and secure, securely rigged. So yeah see that hook's not, that not that's not going anywhere yeah, so that's how you rig the Australian salmon, or it can be a snook or half a salmon, doesn't really matter. Same concept applies to all.